This one right here is, I, I just didn't even know what to think about this. Um, first off, would you guys have picked it up or left it behind? I'm just so, it makes me go, hmm. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low, hopefully, and sell for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where she got it, what she paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started. All right, who are we talking about? We are talking about 1987 Ventures, Tracy, and this is her YouTube channel, and she's slacking a little bit, but hopefully she's going to be coming back soon with more content, but definitely check out some of her, her older videos. She's fantastic. Here is her eBay store, and you can save her as a seller. If you do that, it's going to let you know when she posts new items. It will also let you know if she sends out a coupon. So here are just some of the cool items that she has listed in her eBay store, and she will be linked down below in the description of the video. So let's start with her first big money bolo here. It is this Marvel Universe big 16 inch Centennial X-Men action figure with Wolverine new in box. So it's an action figure. Let's see. There it is. Look at him. Just look at him. <laughs> she got this as part of the vintage toy hauls she's done. So maybe $3 all in. She took a best offer of 125 plus shipping. So yeah, anytime you can find new old stock toys, definitely scan that barcode. If you don't find anything with the barcode, look it up. You can pretty easily figure it out um, with a title on something that's new old stock. This one right here is, I, I just didn't even know what to think about this. Um, first off, would you guys have picked it up or left it behind? I'm just so, it makes me go, hmm, I just don't understand it. Okay, are you ready? It gets better. It's an antique German naughty bare bottom naked lady in a turtle shell trinket dish. So she says, the antique bare bottom naughty title lady was from a local yard sale. I bought a huge lot from her. So a dollar tops on that took a best offer of 110 plus shipping. Funny story story. The buyer messaged me after she paid and it shipped saying that she didn't even realize that her butt was showing. And now she likes it even more. I'm like, what? And then I went over to the pictures and her hiney is inside the trinket dish. Look at her hiney. How funny is that? Is that just one of the weirdest things you've ever seen? I mean, talk about an interesting, unique, hard to find item. You think it's handmade, like just custom made by someone? <laughs> it's definitely interesting. Never seen anything like that. Pair of eight inch Russian costumed play cloth painted face dolls ussr soviet union from the 30s she said the russian dolls from the soviet union were from a yard sale owners mothers dolls i paid five dollars and took a best offer of 120 plus shipping about an hour after listing i like a fast flip yes don't we all Disney Beauty and the Beast musical original Broadway New York City cast signed poster. Wow. Uh, was from an estate sale last year of the woman who designed the costumes for the theater show and was signed by most of the stage performers. It was listed a long time. So when I got an offer from the UK for 300 plus shipping, I took it. She paid $35 and the buyer was thrilled. Yeah, that's an incredible find right there. Kiss Psycho Circus action figures, McFarlane toys, tour box set, new in the box. It's in the original box. Are you kidding me right now? Let's see. She got this from one of the vintage toy hauls. So paid two to three dollars for it. Took a best offer of 97 plus shipping. Thought that would go for more. Some of that Kiss band stuff can go for crazy money. So definitely look it up if you see it. 
Check this out. A musical history of Disneyland 50th anniversary CD set limited edition gold. She said part of a huge $75 Facebook marketplace haul last year. So 50 cents into it. Took a best offer of 110 plus shipping. Now that is my kind of sourcing right there. 50 cents. Wow. Soul Reaver Rizel figure action figure uh, display. Legacy of Kane from 2001. This one was from the toy hall also. Paid two to three. Took an offer of $115.87 for this action figure that retailed for $7.99. So if you see a toy like this and it says this, don't pay any attention to it. If it's vintage, hard to find, discontinued, retired, it could be worth big money just like this. This is a Paul Goggin print Tahitian women on the beach framed vintage wall decor. And she said this was from her personal collection. So it was free to her. She said, I have a set buried in a spare room from my old apartment. I dug it out and listed it and took an offer of 90 plus shipping. This here is a Littman Classic monitoring stethoscope. She said that it was her daughter's and she bought it for school and never used it. So free. Took an offer in a day or so of $80 plus shipping. Another fast flip. This one here is McFarlane Toys Spawn Classic Series Violator 3 Action Figure Collectible. Came out of the vintage toy haul again, paid two to three for it, took a best offer of 70 plus shipping. She said they canceled. She relisted it a few hours later, took another offer of 75 plus shipping. So she sold it twice in like an hour. That's awesome. This is a mid-century Pablo Zabal pottery blue white elephant bowl how stinking cute is this trunk up always put trunk up if the trunk's up people look for trunk up items here is the thing on the bottom she said bought it a library sale a library sale for 50 cents it was up for quite a while and then sold for 91.91 had been on sale so that's great long tail but sold for big money this here is a primitive punched tin metal willow tree electric lamp farmhouse country decor. Paid a dollar, took best offer of 60 plus shipping. Mexican off-white pottery bowl candle holder, three sisters women, women's vintage decor. Here is your little tag that says made in Mexico. And I think that's all that's on it. And she got this. At a local Goodwill for $3.99 and took a best offer of $55 plus shipping. This next item is another McFarlane Toys The Simpsons movie, Itchy and Scratchy, talking presidential politics. And she said this was from the toy haul, so two to three bucks, took a best offer of $50 plus shipping. Yes, anytime you can get The Simpsons new in the box, definitely look those up as well. Storybook Knits Women's Cardigan Sweater, Red, White, Black, Scotty Dog, Houndstooth. And she said that the Storybook Knits is one of seven that she bought brand new with tags from a local church thrift store for $3 each. Took a best offer of $56 plus shipping. This next one, this Annie CD. How stinking adorable is this? It is a CD guys a cd she said the annie cd was found by my partner at a church sale for 25 cents took a best offer of 66.40 and the buyer paid shipping this is a muppet master jester deluxe movie edition collection series one action figure it's new old stock and this one also came from, you guessed it, the toy haul, two to three bucks for it. Took an offer of 52 plus shipping. This is a vintage MCM silver plated four slice toast rack. So you put your toast in it and it's got the little jam jars. Is that not the cutest thing? It's so cute. She got it from a church bag sale, four paper bags for $10. So she paid like a quarter for it. Took a best offer of 55 plus shipping. 
This one is the Frankenstein illustrated. It looks like it is a comic. And she got this from the vintage toy haul as well and sold it for $58.87 plus shipping. The Simpsons bus. She got this from the toy haul. So two to three dollars. And she took a best offer of 55 plus shipping. This one here is this antique art deco fauceted cut rock crystal beaded necklace sterling silver class and great key words right there. Uh, I have trouble describing jewelry and I always am intrigued when people know what they're talking about. So that is awesome. She said she got this at a local thrift store for $1 and took an offer of 45 plus shipping. This one here is a Spider-Man poster from 1988 and she got this for 25 cents at a yard sale and sold it for 40 plus shipping on best offer. Tom Boy logo, white black stoneware restaurant mug, Victory USA set of two from a thrift store, paid a dollar each. They were up for two years. So very, very long tail. <coughs> Excuse me. Took an offer of $50.41 plus shipping. And yeah, buyer paid shipping on that. I think I said that. Alan Schwartz, ABS cocktail dress, size 12. And it says it was new with tags. Bought four years ago to yard sale for a dollar. Took an offer of 50 plus shipping. So another really long tail item. And here is the original tags so yeah i mean dresses are hard and a lot of times you get returns on dresses because the fit you know it's just not always right a cup of tea happiness is a cup of tea and a new magazine emma bridgewater mug happiness tea magazine chocolate toast and marmalade england and she got this at a church rummage sale for two bucks and took an offer of $49.87 in 30 minutes. It was made in England and somebody in England bought it. There it is. Right there's the bottom. That's what you're looking for. All right, you guys, what did you think about those bolos? Pretty awesome. Definitely go and follow 1987 Ventures Tracy on YouTube and check out her eBay store for lots of fantastic items. She's got a lot of jewelry in her store, but she has lots of good stuff. So sub her up and follow her for more awesome items. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below, and a subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching.